when Satan told them, when, when he said, when you asked me about the certain told them to do this and everything. Yeah. By the way, that was a, that was no that, that was no ser there was no serpent that spoke to them. They saw a serpent, and then they heard in their head a voice. Then they heard in their head a voice when they when they saw a serpent by the tree. They heard a voice that made them. How did you know it was in their head? Hold on. I, I thought it was. No, 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 no. They saw a serpent, and because humans had have the imagination of to create things, right? That that ego, that co conscience, right? Created that thought that something told us to do it because we couldn't accept it. We then knew, we then had the knowledge of good and evil. That is what made us do it. There was no such thing as Satan in a serpent. We we made it. We made it. Just like we can train animals to be good and evil. So you mean God didn't say to Adam and Eve, this is the tree of knowledge. Oh yeah, he did. You not he did. He evil. did. So then he created the evil. The moment he said that, he said, this is right, this is wrong. It's not us that created. But he wanted us to know good and evil. Because he wanted us to be like him. To be like God. He wanted that. So let me make sure. So he goes through this elaborate scheme where he could just have given us that knowledge straight away. Sorry? He went through this elaborate scheme where he could have just given us the knowledge straight away. And you think that's a that's a worthwhile creator? And a no, because if we, if we if we if he had given us all if he had given us all at once, we probably would have exploded. But how did you come to know this? We exploded because we knew what was right and wrong. I Sorry? don't think so. You you've got a very low bar for humanity. I think we would have actually <laughs> flourished had we known what was right and wrong if God gave it to us directly without having to go through the elaborate myth of the tree and the snake. No, because then because then we would have been more destructive because we because as because then then we wouldn't have known how to deal with it. Because our imaginations would have gone wild. No, 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 this is what happens. What happens is you've got the human being who um, over the many years has, has seeked out to have peace, has never achieved the peace, and he's continually making weapons to destroy. Yeah. With all his knowledge, with all his understanding, it doesn't seem to be improving. It looks good. My friend, you are confusing a few human beings with the entire population. Really? Not do why, all why, human. Why? Why? Look here. Let's why, use this. Why? I'm asking why. Well, if you stop asking why, I can tell you. Okay. When you stop asking, then I can speak. That's how it works. I don't know. You tell me. The whole population of this planet isn't making weapons, are they? Really? Sorry? The whole population. No, not everyone. Not everyone. I no. would say to the minimum amount of people are doing really? it. But, fact we, but we do have more weapons, though, don't we? I'm not saying we don't have more. And weapons. we have enough people who have we could, we could vote or do something to try and stop them, couldn't we? No, we yeah. don't. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I don't know if you know what you're talking about. Uh, if you stop, <laughs> and then, then I'll tell you. Oh. Calm down. You seem to suggest that all people want to make weapons. I think they all do, actually. If we, if we, if we, if we get down to the bottom of it. Because you can have relationships where a man and a woman are together, or a man and a friend. And at the end of the day, you really can't trust anyone. 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 We've got a very poor view of humanity. Basically, look, look, you're talking, right. to, look how you're talking to me and you don't know me. <laughs> well, you've just expressed yourself. That's it. Look how you were talking to me. Yes, I'll say so you. my point was right at the beginning then. If you say so, brother. There you go. Your logic. So my point. It was right. Whatever you say. No, you want to have a conversation because I'm not sure we can get anywhere there. Huh? I think we're off on a tangent there. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say is right. Yeah. That's right. Let's go back to your view. You suggested that when you looked in the mirror, you saw God. Of course. And I said to you, how do you know it wasn't an illusion? And you said, through wisdom. And I said to you, well, I've given you a counterexample. Do you accept my counterexample? I look in the mirror and I see Thor. And through wisdom, I think I'm Thor. You think you're part of God. How do we distinguish which one of us is true? Because you will not see God unless you have a pure heart. But you won't see Thor unless you've got a pure heart. See, I can play the same game all day. Uh, we need no, something no, no, else. No, 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 no. The evil people can see. The evil people can see things. What's that going to do with it? The evil people can see um, Thor's brother Loki. He's the evil one. You're saying that you can't see knowledge unless you have a pure heart. But that's not right. No, I'm saying. Oh, no. 
I'm saying what you've suggested is your own subjective view. You don't have any reason or evidence to suggest what you're saying is true. And I'm saying to you, I could use the same logic that you are using, which is to suggest that there's a thought, and he does the same thing. So in order for you to demonstrate that what you see in the mirror, or this is God, or you're God, you need some good reasons or evidence. Otherwise, it's just your opinion. And I can say the same thing. I can pick Thor, Odin, I can pick anything and use the same argument you use, and mine is exactly valid, in which case we're not getting anywhere. So we need something else to determine if what you're saying is true. Your word alone is not good enough. Because I'm suggesting you could be then I have my simple, delusional. Then I have my simple question that I asked you a few minutes ago. Well, about 10 minutes ago. How did, if there was no wisdom, no understanding, no knowledge prior to the world, how did the universe come together in such a such a, a clean manner? That's obviously not the question you asked me before, but we're happy to answer that. What you originally asked me was, how did mankind gain wisdom, knowledge, etc.? Isn't that what you originally asked me? No, but before that, I asked you how did we, how did how did the world come together in such an organized fashion? That's why I asked you then I asked you that. After. So through the through the fine tuning of the universe, I use the word fine tuning. Yeah. Okay. So, so I've answered the question. So what? So now? there has to be a fine tuner. No. No. But in order for something to be fine tuned, I'm using you it have in your have... language. I don't believe in a fine tune. I'm using your language. So, so that's what I'm asking. So the question is that how? Did... So now we go back to the beginning of the universe. Right. And this is your claim that seems to suggest that you are right when you look in the mirror and you see God. Is, is that I just want to make sure that I'm following your logic. Yeah. Your logic is the way to demonstrate that when you look in the mirror and see God, whatever version of God it is, presumably Christian, Christian God, or yeah, as opposed to Muslim or. No, not Christian, Hindu, but the God. What is the God? The God is wisdom. The God is power. Okay, well, define your God a little bit better, because that's like very. That's like looking at the clouds. Do you believe that God is conscious and gives some commands or speaks to us in some way? Yeah. What does He say? God speaks to us through His wisdom. Okay. What does He tell us to do or not do? Oh, I don't know. It depends. He tells people different things all the time. What do you mean? What does He tell people to do? Okay. So, firstly, you're saying this. You subjectively think there's a God. Now you're saying you don't know what God says. I want to understand your God so I can see. It doesn't make any I don't sense know what God at all. Says, but what do you? God could say many things. What are, you, what are you asking me? So does God give any instructions? Does he tell us anything that's useful? Or does he just speak in your head to you at that moment in time, whatever he says to you? What is he? Oh, he's given, no. Is there a message for humanity or for, for people or something like that? Yeah, he's always given people messages. Like what? Give me an example. He's told he's told people to he's told people to be pure. What, what does pure mean? I, I feel like I'm pure now. Am I not pure? No, because you've got ego. Oh, ah, okay. So what you mean is I've got to have some other psychological disposition in order to be pure? No, you need to get rid of ego, which causes problems in the world. Have you got a... Just so I understand you, what's your, what do you call yourself? Have you got like a label? Are you a panantheist or monist or something like that? What is your... I don't like to label myself anything. Okay, but you believe there's some kind of supernatural force that's, that's presumably intelligent that created this world that speaks to... All all of us or just some of us or uh, no it's, it's, it's the, the only the, the only time God will speak to you is if obviously well, if he chooses to and also and also if you allow if you allow uh, your if you allow your mind to open up and see so does this God speak to Christians, Muslims and others? Or does he speak to non-religious? Who does your God speak to? He speaks to everybody. Okay, but how do you... Okay, he hasn't spoken to me because I've never heard him. So what do I need to do in order for him to speak to me? Well, you didn't listen. You need to, you need, I told you, you need to, be, you, need, you need to, you need to, you need to humble yourself. Seek God's kingdom. Seek God's kingdom and sit and, 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 and uh, have a pure heart and then you will see God. And if I don't, what happens then? Then it's your own choice. Then you okay, but is there some consequences for me if I don't? Well, then when you die, you'll just be you'll just be separated from God. Will I go to hell, or will I just float in the universe, or what? What happens? No, you'll just go into a negative energy. Negative energy, negative energy as opposed to a positive energy. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know there was negative and positive energy. Maybe there is. Well, when you when you when when we sin, and then we, and then we, let's just say you stole something from the shop the other day. 
I'm not saying you did, but it's just, it's an example. You stole something from the shop the other day, then afterwards you go home and you feel really bad, right? That's negative energy. That's a negative emotion is what you mean. It's still energy. There's energy, I agree. You, you are labeling it positive and negative. I'm saying there's a negative emotion okay. and there's energy. But when that's fine. That's what I'm saying. So you are now taking an extra step and say, hey, there's positive and negative energy. I'm not sure you're justified in saying that. Uh, but so, so what I'm saying is though, if you die without understanding, if you die without understanding properly and, and, and seeking God, you will, you will die in sin, which is negative. Which is negative, uh, which is a negative spiritual, yeah, spirituality. Well, why should I take your view? Is there some book? How do I find out whether you what you're saying is true? Because my Muslim friend here would say something different. He, yeah. he doesn't believe we in the same kind of God. Hang on, wait, wait. Empire, yeah. Yeah, wait, wait. He will. How, how do He's I know that your, your view of God is real? Different story. What do I need to do? Totally different story. So, don't, how, how do we find that out more than what I do? How do we find out whether what you're saying is true? I, as I, 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 I Christopher Leslie, do not know. It's God that is telling me this. And if you want to know, you need to open up your heart and ask God. And first of all, and ask you oh, first of all, open up your heart and say to you and, and ask, start trying to communicate with God and say, are you real? Please, I want to know. And then after that, if you want to know really deep in your heart, then you will know. So I do all of that and I still don't find out what then. If I may ask. Well then it's up to God. What's your what's your like religion or what's your I I'm a disciple of Christ. 